Hi everyone and welcome to Netball Scotland's Secretary Guidance videos. This video will focus on adding new club members, creating a family module, updating your members club roles and updating your members details. So let's get started. To access the Netball Scotland membership portal simply visit netballscotland.azolve.com or head to the Netball Scotland website at www.netballscotland.com. From there you can click on the membership tab and it will bring you to the login screen. Once there, you'll be presented with the members and event portal login page. Simply enter your username and your password to log in. And remember, if you want to make logging in easier next time, simply tick the keep me signed in button. This should bring you onto your own member profile. So now you want to navigate to your club profile. To do that, click on menu at the top left hand side of your screen and navigate down to the my club area. There you can see your club profile tile, so click on that. This will bring you into your club profile. For guidance on navigating your club profile, updating your basic details and setting your club license for the new season, there is separate video guidance on that available on the Netball Scotland website. But for now, we'll navigate to our club member section to begin this process. You should now be presented with your club profile, as well as an overview of the members linked to your club. As you can see, we currently have six active members, but we want to add a brand new member onto our club. So to do that, navigate over to the add new member button. This will bring up a member details section. Simply fill out these details as fully as possible. The fields are name, email address, contact number, date of birth, gender, address and postcode. Later on in this video we'll show you how to set up a family module. So if you are looking to add a new member using the same email address as an existing member, that part of the video will guide you through that. But for now we'll continue adding our new member. So let's set this member under the age of 18. When we do that, you'll see a blue pop-up appear on your screen, informing you that due to the age of this member, we do now require some additional information under the parent guardian details section. But we'll continue adding our information for now until we reach that point. When we get to username, you can either keep the member email or change it to a specific username, usually their name. Fill in their address. Please ensure all this information is inputted as fully as possible as it is all required information. Now, when we scroll down, we'll see that parent guardian details section. At this point, you'll just enter the parent or guardian's name. Let's go membership coordinator and their email address. This can be a different email address or it can be the same email address as listed above. But you'll see that when we try to tick the next box, we'll get another pop up. Essentially, this pop-up is asking us to ensure that the email address we are entering that is the same as the one used above is the parent's contact details. If it is, tick the box. There is also an option for you to declare that you can add this member without providing parental consent. However, if you don't have this consent in writing, please don't tick this box. So we'll scroll down the screen and tick the final box, which is asking us to declare that we have permission to add, update and maintain this person's information on Go Membership, which we do have. And then we'll press continue. You should now be presented with a little confirmation screen telling you that your member has been successfully added. You can either add another member straight away, edit the member you've just added or add their membership. For more information on how to add a new membership, we have separate video guidance that covers this process. 
So because of that, we won't be going through that in this video. So for now, we'll hit close. And you can see test member 00 has appeared in our club list. But we also want to add another member of their family. So this section of the video will now focus on creating a club family module. A family module allows you to add an entire family onto the system under the same email address. We recommend setting up a family module first. Setting up a family module and then adding the brand new member means that you won't get stopped for using the same email address. So let's navigate on to the club family tile. You can see here we already have a coordinator family set up. So we'll navigate over to the green pencil button to edit the existing family first. So as you can see, there are currently five members in this family. To add a new member to the coordinator family, navigate up to the search bar at the top of the screen. From there, you'll search for the member by typing in their full name. Once you've found them, select them from the list and click the green add button. So as you can see, after clicking on the add button, test member 00 appears on the list for the coordinator family. Now all you have to do is click the yellow save button. That means when we go back in to edit this family, test member 00 appears as a new member. But we don't want them to be in this family, we want them to be in a separate family. So we'll remove them, press save, and instead add a new family. This will bring up a brand new window. First, you'll want to set the family name. Click on the orange pencil button and edit to the required family name. And then click the green tick button. Now our family name is set, we can begin adding our members. So search for test member 00 in the search bar, click to select them and press the green add button to add them to this family. Now all you have to do is press save and that's it. You've successfully created a brand new family module and that means you can now add the remaining family members under the same email address. Just make sure when you add the new members that you also link them back to this family module too. If you have any issues with this process or require any more information, PDF guidance is also available to talk you through step by step. But for now, we'll move on to editing member details. So we'll navigate back to our club profile and head back to test member 00's tab. You'll notice the three buttons at the side. They allow you to lapse this member, have them leave your club or renew their license. Instead, you'll navigate back to their name and click on it. This will bring you into that member's profile and allow you to edit their basic details for them. You can see on the left hand side, you can edit their basic details, emergency contact, club role, and you can view their additional details. We'll start with basic details. Here you can edit their name, email address, date of birth and their home address. You can do this by clicking on the orange update details button at the top of the screen. And as you can see, you're able to edit everything within that member's profile. Anything with an asterisk beside it must be filled in. Otherwise it could affect your ability to purchase a membership license for this member. I'll quickly show you how easy it is to change this information. So if we scroll on back up, we'll change the member's address. So we'll change it from 1000 London Road to 2000 Scotland Road. Once we're happy that all the information is up to date, we'll press save. And you can see immediately the address has been changed. So now we'll add their emergency contact. Simply click on the emergency contact tab and you can see currently they don't have any. So we'll add one in for them by pressing the add button. So when we click that, this should bring up the following pop-up where we'll need to enter the emergency contact's first name and surname. We'll also need to select from the range of relationships using the double blue arrows. Scroll through, you can see there's various options there, but for now we'll just select parent. Then we'll need to enter the contact number of the emergency contact. This should be different from the member's phone number and a contact email address. As you can see here, all these fields are marked with an asterisk, so they are necessary to be filled in in full. And then click save. And you can see that immediately the member's emergency contact is added to their contact list. So now we'll navigate onto club role. 
Every member that's added to your club is automatically given a member role. But if you want to update this, you can do so by clicking on the orange update details button. So we'll click on that and you can see the list of available roles for that member. We'll select player for now, but you can also select any of the other options and you can select multiple options. Once you're happy, click save and you'll see that the new role has been added for our member. So we've now updated all that member's basic details, their emergency contact and their club role. So what we'll do now is navigate back to the club profile by clicking on the back to members button just to see what difference that's made to test member 00's tab. As you can see, now we're back on club profile in our member section. And if we scroll down, and as you can see, that new club role has been added. They now have a blue P for player and a green M for member. At this point, they still do not have a membership. But like I said earlier, for more information on updating and affiliating members licenses, there is separate video and PDF guidance available for club secretaries on how to affiliate members for the new season and the various methods that are available to you to do that. So please check out that video if you want to know more about this process. But for now, we have reached the end of this video where we have successfully added a new member to our club, created a family module, updated our member club details and updated our member club roles. We hope you found this process easy to follow. If you encountered any issues or have any questions, please just email membership at netballscotland.com and we're more than happy to help you out. In the meantime, if you want any other guidance, it is available on the Netball Scotland website too. From everyone at Netball Scotland, we hope you have a great new season of netball and we can't wait to see how you all get involved.